Hey, Mimos, what's up? <laughs> Did you have a good weekend? I guess the weekend's just starting. It's Saturday. Probably by the time I finish this video, it'll be Saturday night, and you probably won't see it until Sunday, so the weekend's almost over. So you're gonna watch the Super Bowl tomorrow? I'm planning on watching it, although I just am not into it. I really don't care either team. I guess, in a way, I'm kind of happy that it's not a couple of East Coast teams for a change, even though I know it's not always East Coast teams. It, to me, it always feels like it's East Coast teams. But I guess I kind of want to see Denver beat Seattle just because ooh Seattle <laughs> I still think Seattle's gonna get spanked because they beat Denver and I don't think Denver's gonna let that happen <laughs> second time so I'll watch a little bit of the football game I'll probably watch the whole football game but I'm not gonna like it <laughs> I hope you've been enjoying this thing I've been doing on my website and I've been posting it on Twitter and Facebook once a week, or at least as I can think about it. Woodworking YouTube channels that I really like. I subscribe to all the woodworking YouTube channels and so, you know, I'd like to try to promote some of those if I could because the, the more information that's out there, the better. And especially if it's free information, I'm not going to promote anything that has to charge money to watch a video. We live in such an incredible time when there is so many guys making woodworking videos and just freely giving away information that you can really create your own woodworking course just by watching all of these guys. But I've said it before and I gotta say it again, woodworking for mere mortals audience, you memos are great. I mean this thing yesterday that I mean it's it didn't cost me anything to make it. This is all pallet wood and I checked on the eBay site and it's going for like over $180 right now is the current bid so that's really heartwarming because I know it wouldn't have sold that much obviously if it wasn't for charity but I think it's great that we can do something to make a positive impact in the world. I mean I guess as woodworkers we do we make stuff and we give it to other people but to be able to do that and just to somehow help somebody who has nothing to do with woodworking I think is is pretty cool so thank you all for doing that I'm gonna do more of that I'm gonna start just putting my projects up on eBay one of the things I want to get into this year is I want to make some wooden toys and well my son is almost 17 now so it's not like I really have him to give it to so I think those would be also good things to auction off I think people would like that and in this week's show and tell segment <laughs> this is from Donald Schlitt I want to say hi to Donald Schlitt I guess that's how you pronounce your name Schlitt like the I guess like the beer that's Schlitz right he made a pencil holder and a glue bottle holder and this is actually something I've been wanting to do for a while is a glue bottle holder you know you take a regular squeeze bottle and you can put it in here upside down with the lid on obviously and then your glue is already ready so you don't have to do that thing but that was really nice it's just it is so nice of you guys when you do stuff like that it's it's really cool i do have the best audience in the world <laughs> sorry i keep pulling my pants up I, I think i'm losing weight i'm trying to lose weight i've been exercising i'm running a lot now i jog well, I just started jogging, but I've been doing exercises for a couple of years now, Every most every night. Sometimes I slack off on weekends, but I've been jogging around the neighborhood and, and trying to little, eat a little better, so yeah, pants are getting a little loose. Let's see, what's coming up this week? Valentine's Project. Nope, I don't know what it is yet. I'm still looking at some ideas. I probably should have done the Valentine's Project this weekend, so you would have time to work on it this weekend and next weekend if you wanted to make the projects. Now, if I do it for next week's video, you'll have to make it next weekend because Valentine's Day is the following week, sometime during the week, uh, Friday or something. Did you like my little transfer method? I thought that was pretty cool to make, to just to peel off the, the sticker, the labels on the, the label stuff and you print your inkjet on it. Cause a lot, there's a lot of transfer methods, but they always require a, something that uses toner, like a, like a laser printer, which I don't have, I have an inkjet printer. But I think it was pretty cool. You just have to be careful when you peel, when you have that on there, the ink is just kind of like sitting on top of it. It doesn't soak into anything, it's just sitting on there. It's like wax paper, but it doesn't seem to dry. So you don't have to really work fast or anything. I just had it around here for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes and it was still, it worked fine. You know what I'd like to try doing, I haven't tried it yet, is to print out a full color image and transfer that to wood. And the other thing is the, the little carving deal I did on here. I did that before, I did that a few years ago. If you're new to the show, you might not know. I did it a, uh, a paper towel holder. It's still in my kitchen and the, 
This is, that acrylic paint with the lacquer over it holds up perfectly and it just, it still looks great. So I think it's a pretty good technique, but it's really fun to just use that Dremel tool and just carve. The only tip I have on that is to choose your images carefully. Don't get anything that's too complex. I try to keep it bold, simple colors. And also another tip I'd like to give you if you're gonna do any kind of painting is not to use the colors straight out of the bottles. Otherwise everything comes out flat. So what I like to do is I just mix the, the say the here red and then I'll just put a little bit of white right next to it and then I just kind of swirl it together I don't really mix it so that there's parts of it that have I don't know if you can see that like a lighter color pink and then other parts are dark it just it gives it a nicer effect and same with the the green down here oh and I, I did have one comment on YouTube that I, I wanted to address because a guy asked me he said I never see you square anything up on your boxes and projects and things well I do if but only if it's something big like my my cabinet over there I wanted to make sure that was nice and square but on, on things like this I just don't worry about it and also making those rabbits one of the reasons I like to use rabbits and dados so much is that they they kind of pull everything together and they it, it helps you to kind of self align everything and get it keep it square but I have no doubt that this is probably not perfectly square most nothing I make is really all that square <laughs> again I think the bigger project especially my sliding door cabinet I wanted that to be square because I knew those doors probably weren't going to slide very easily if that wasn't squared but I probably showed that in the video too about the tape measure the diagonal thing you know you go diagonal you measure your diagonals and then if they're equal then you're nice and square but the branding irons you notice that it turned out pretty cool that's the first time I've ever used one of those so I just I used my blowtorch to heat it up I don't know if that's really the right way to do it or not but I held it on there a while but I noticed that I had to work kind of quickly because it would and then I don't know how to get it evenly heated up on that. So if you have any suggestions on that, that would be great. You can see like here, I probably left it a little longer and over here I, I didn't quite get it right but I think overall it, it looks kind of cool that way. Well, I guess I don't have a whole lot else this week that's about it. If you have pictures of anything you're making for Valentine's Day post those on my Facebook page that would be fun to see those and give people some ideas especially ones that you can make quickly next weekend because that's the deadline next weekend if you're gonna make Valentine stuff. I hope you enjoy the Super Bowl tomorrow if you're watching that and then it's time for the Winter Olympics to be starting pretty soon so I'm really looking forward to that. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys next week.